Look at a mailbag. I've got a few interesting things here. Stick around, have a look, see what I've got. First thing. Let's see how this is. This is uh Ah, okay. Now this is for a review item. What do we have here? I think that's a DCD -DC converter. And this appears to be a Wi-Fi shield with relays on it. What is that in the bag? ESP8266 Wi-Fi relay module. And a step up and step down module as well. So I guess that means it's like a buck boost converter. Um, however, the heat sink has come off in the post. That's not a big deal, I'll just glue it back on again. But Anyway, so these are review items. These are for itstation.com, that's who they're for. So if you, um, if you want to see what I'll do with these, then make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications. So I'll be doing something with these. Shall I tell you? Nah, I'll tell you. You find out. You find out what I'm doing. To the bench. So this is a Wi-Fi module with a relay board. It just plugs in there, actually, it's quite nice. So that's an ESP8266 apparently. Interesting design. Haven't seen that before. ESP8266 V2. Is it LCTIC? Is it LCTIC.cc? I guess it is. So it's got four relays on there, uh, which look like they're just bypassed straight through. Yeah, it's all isolated. It's actually got isolation, which is pretty cool, which means you can probably do 240 volt on there. Uh, or high voltage, what's it rated to? 250 volt, one, uh, 10 amp. 10 amp, 125 volt. Or 10 amp, 28 volt DC. 10 amp, 30 volt DC. So, that's the ESP 8266 controlled Wi Fi module. So, that means you can probably put this on your network and remotely control it. I will have to uh, pull up some information about the web page and manuals on how to use this thing. It's got some TXRX pin smarts on here. It's obviously broken out to this header on the side which is labelled, so we've got uh, it's upside down, of course it is, as Dave would say the electrons are going to fall out, unfortunately if we get closer if it goes out of focus because we've got manual focus on, anyway so bottom pins ground, then we've got something else, then something else, then something else, TX, RX, 5 volt at the top, can't make out what those say, I'll have to get the manual for this and have a look, it's got a Chong X cap on it, yeah, might have to change it. It's got opto isolators on there for the relay control. A couple of buttons on there. S1, S2, this label is. Has a chip, which is, I don't know, I can't read it, it's a bit small. Anyway, so that's at icstation.com. Review item, we'll have a look at that and do a little project with that. And next thing, also from icstation.com, so thank you very much for that. But this, like, this is suffering the post a little bit, this one. He, um, I thought a screw's falling out, that's not a big deal, let's put it, pop that back in. But uh, the heat sink's popped off, so there's something about that. Let's just put that screw back in. So, oh no, it hasn't popped off, this hasn't been attached. So it's just, it's just part of the package left in there. Okay, so you actually, you've got to attach it yourself, that's fine. So nothing's gone wrong there then, after all. Just that screw fell out, that's not exactly a problem, is it? It's got a current. Sensing circuit on there, we can talk about that loop. Brand caps, what are these? Senyo. I think. <laughs> yeah, they like to use similar logos. Yeah, I think that's Senyo. It's, uh, it says Senyo, but I don't think it actually is Senyo. I'm pretty sure the logo is actually different to that. I guess I zoom in more, can you see it? Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. There's the focus point. So there's the board. Let's look at the other one again. Now I've got to focus and set up right. Focus point. There. There we go. Better look at it. Interesting little module. So that's all isolated. All marked. Pretty cool. You see those labels down the side in here? This one looks like swim, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to figure out what those are. But it's got some jumpers on there too. 
looks nice. So we'll, I'll do a project with those at some point. Next thing. My ram knife is working really well. If you want to have a ram knife. True story. Okay, now these are also another review item. Get blinded by my lights there. Blinded by the light, isn't that like a... It's a line from a song, isn't it? I can't, I can't think. Might be a project track, actually. I can't know. Anyway, so this review item from PCB GoGo. -Go. So these arrived very quickly. Um, some PCBs, obviously. So I'll look at these at some point. Um, I'll do a quick thing on a bench as well. We'll have a quick evaluation. This is a redesign, so it's the first time I've actually done this particular version of this. I wanted to do this because I've got a couple of people to send it to. So I wanted to make sure I've got the most recent version to give to them. You'll find out about that too. Okay, so now you've got these PCBs and PCB Go Go. So this is a company who actually approached me um, about sponsorship and doing a review for them, and I said, yeah, okay. But um, at the time, I didn't actually have anything to do, and um, got an opportunity to review them, so I thought, right, oh, give them a go. So I got in contact with them. It's like, I don't know, three months later, I suppose, and they said, yeah, sure, we're interested. You haven't really seen, I don't think I've seen anybody else reviewing PCB Go Go. I only ordered these, well, less than a week ago, they arrived yesterday. I think I actually finished the order on, was it Friday? So it's like three or four working days to the time they actually arrived. So, uh, normally I get my boards done in yellow. This time I thought I'd do them in red because this is a high voltage board. And because it's a high voltage board, I thought, well, I think red's probably a bit more appropriate than yellow because, you know, red is danger, as you can see yellow with the board. So this is my high voltage leakage tester project, which I did previously, but this is a revised version of the board. So this is a bit simplified. I didn't have all the extra options for the resistor banks and stuff down the side now. I've taken all that away and stripped it down, took the op amp off, that sort of stuff. And just tweaked the design based on my experimentation for the previous one. So um, I know that one works because I built the thing and it, I've demonstrated it working. So I'm actually going to, I've got these boards made because I'm going to send these to a couple of people. They might build them, they might not, they might be interested in them, I don't know, but we'll find out. I'm going to send the board with all the parts, including the Arduino Pro Mini, which is going to be pre-programmed. I'll send it to them, and um, you may see these featured on a couple of other channels. I won't see much more than that. Next thing, this is a locally purchased item, so I think I know what's in here. Oh yes, nerdgasms. Try and get the light of it. You see that? Star Trek Discovery. Complete first season. I haven't seen any of these yet. But I thought, well, it's a Star Trek series, so I've got to have a look, haven't I? Unfortunately, my wife isn't too into um, this whole science fiction stuff, so I have to kind of watch it by myself, which is a bit of a shame. She just thinks it's a bit preposterous. How dare her? Preposterous. So this thing here, so as I was saying before, my wife is not really into this kind of thing, which is kind of disappointing. She just doesn't think it's very plausible, but uh, it's a sci-fi for you. Anyway, I, I, I haven't seen any of these yet. I thought, well, it was a Star Trek series. Let's get it. I mean, let's go for it. I mean, it's like 40 bucks or something. I don't recognize anybody on the back picture, so who knows? It's going to be a whole new experience, I suppose. But we'll see. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen any Star Trek movies or series. I mean, it's been a while since it's been a series. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Maybe I'll do a review. Nah, I'm not a movie critic, am I? <laughs> I'm not a movie critic. I'll be watching these by myself though, but my wife's going away on holiday to Europe for a month or so. So I'll actually have some time to sit down and watch these things, which she doesn't normally like to watch. Okay, last thing for today. Oh, I know what these are. These are some of my merch. For my merch store, if you're interested in these. I think I did feature them. Yeah, I showed it previously the last mailbag, actually. Got my logo on that one. Um, it's plain black. And I've got another one here. These are good packages. So we use these, I think. And we've got a nice pink one. Try and get the angle right. 
Pink gives it away. I've got a plan to give this to someone. If anyone knows someone that knows, likes pink stuff, that's a YouTuber. Bit of a clue. So, so there we go. My merch mug. So as I thought, I mean, the one I showed previously was green. This is obviously pink. What I should have done is bought them all at the same time because that would have saved me some money in postage. Because you know, this is going to another YouTuber. I'm not going to say anything else. Oh yes, poor forget. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on my videos. Very important. Since I did that gear bust shaming video, I've suddenly been getting a whole bunch of thumbs down on my videos. About the same number within a few minutes of video going up, but for some people haven't even watched them. So it's like a certain company might be getting their employees to come and thumbs down my videos to try and hurt my channel. So if you get the chance and you you know kind of against that kind of thing, give us a thumbs up. I mean just click the little click thing, you know, the little click the thumb thing. Click that that bit, click that. Alright? And you know, it'll hopefully help to counteract the negativity that's coming through. So there's the stuff from today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, tell your friends, share the video, put it on social media, chuck it on Reddit. I've now got a Reddit on there. I've got a subreddit on there now. I've set up a, a fan page. So if you're interested in, in looking for me on there, I'm r slash the deaf pom. You can find me there pretty easy. Pretty quiet there right now, but I've just got myself automatically posting videos there too. So it's also another way of seeing my videos without having to go directly through YouTube and stuff like that and all the other stuff. But up to you how you do it. I thought I'd mention that, so got my merch store, got Reddit, got all the other stuff, and yeah, hang around, I don't know, sort of keep watching my stuff, it's quite cool. Okay, so these are the first things. Now these are from so ICStation.com. Got a review item for them. I'm doing something with these, working on a little project. So this is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. It actually just plugs in look. Focus, you bugger. Hold on a minute. Let me fix this. And probably not too distant future after. Use them for something. Oh come on, focus you. No.